See, this is what a house should look like. I know. He's such a he boy. Loves. He loves cars and trucks and anything oh. with wheels, just like his mom. <laughs> I've been crawling all over the floor playing race cars with him. Oh, so fun. So cute. You know, I should invite my boy, you know, Patrick, <laughs> my husband, over to play with him. He yeah. loves race cars. I have to tell you something. Lucian is so smart and funny. You seem really happy. Yeah, I yeah. am. Really happy. Everything's, you know, perfect. But. Except, I mean, well, there's Carly. And oh, no. There's what does she do now? Um, she is trying to accuse me of cutting Sonny's children out of his life. Why would she say that? Uh, well, it is true that I asked everybody for a little bit of, you know, time to ourselves while Lucian was adjusting, and, uh, I mean, I just didn't want to overwhelm him with too many faces. I don't know if it was the wrong thing to no, do. No, no, that makes sense. No, but now she's... You'd change. Exactly, him. right? But now this girl is trying to portray me as the evil stepmother who doesn't want Sonny's kids to contaminate well, my son. Carly trying to create drama doesn't surprise me. I know, and I shouldn't even let it bother me, but I actually... I kind of feel like Sonny's buying into it a little bit. No, 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 don't let Carly make you paranoid. No, Sonny is loyal to you. No, I'm telling you, he is holding back a little bit. How so? I don't know, I mean, he's sweet with Lucian and does all the right things, but he just seems... distant. I don't know, what if I can't get him to love my son as much as I do? Hey, what happened with this emergency procedure on my patient, Mr. Corson? Oh, he developed a post-surgery DVT. He was cutting off blood flow, so I took the necessary steps to restore function. And you called Marucci instead of me? Well, you made it quite clear that you don't want to hear from me. And any attempt at interaction, you have subject to misinterpretation. This is a medical situation, Lisa, not exactly. a personal Exactly, and surgery resolved the problem. Dr. Marucci just happened to be on hand, so I brought him in. Oh, good job. Yeah, in case you forgot, skilled orthopedic surgeon, it's right above crazed stalker on my resume. If I was out of line, I apologize. This is a life-threatening situation. You handle it, so thank you. Please don't. I'd like to accept that thanks, but there's too much uncomfortable subtext. You did a good job. I'm honestly appreciative. He said with gritted teeth. Well... Patrick, you are almost painful to watch. You are so afraid of sending me mixed signals or saying something that I, that I might misinterpret as an opening, which I won't, by the way. Do you blame me? Let me just set the record straight. Okay, that little roll in the hay cost me a hell of a lot more than it ever cost you. And it is not an experience I'd like to repeat, even if you held me at gunpoint. I'd really like to believe that. You and Robin are back together. You're obviously in love, closer than ever. More power to you. As far as I'm concerned, I will always remember our days in college fondly, but they are over, and you've changed, and I've moved on. I really hope that's true. All right, you know what? There's nothing I can do about the past, except for choose not to dwell on it. And I have a lot to look forward to. See, this is what I hate about Carly. Everyone knows that she's horrible, and we see right through her, but somehow she makes us doubt ourselves. No, 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 but listen to what I'm saying. Sonny is holding back from Lucian. He is. Maybe because Lucian is new in his life. Thank or maybe because Carly is making Sonny choose between his two families. Sonny wouldn't do that. <clears throat> have a little bit more faith in your mm. husband. Okay, I do, I do have faith in my husband, but here, here's, here's the truth. <laughs> hmm. uh, okay, he is already making me feel like I am being pushed out of his family. With Carly. Oh, no, don't no, no, no. take Carly's bait. No, no, no. Please. I'm telling you, uh, you. Something's going on with Michael. He's in some kind of trouble. I don't know if you know anything about it. Okay, well, Sunny Snarky Lawyer sat here, and she said that she was instructed not to give out any details about Michael's troubles. To me. Did you ask Sunny? Yeah, of course that? I asked Sunny. You know I confronted him about everything. And he said that he was being handled. He kind of brushed it off. He said that um, Carly is very volatile right now, and he doesn't want to upset her, so it would be really helpful for him if I stayed out of it. Sounds like Sunny's trying to please everyone. Well, I'm not into it. Uh, Michael is not Sunny's biological son any more than Lucian is. So, why does he have such a soft spot for Michael and not for Lucia? Oh, okay, okay, I know it's hard to not take this personally, but maybe this is not about Sonny choosing Carly's kids over yours. I'm afraid to open his heart to one more child. 
Sunny is cautious by nature. You know, I mean, Suzanne shows up out of the blue, has this three-year-old little boy, and just says <clears throat> it's your son. Yeah, I know, I know. But, you know, she, she kept Lucian a secret to protect him from Theo, so that's why she did that. I understand that, but she also pretended she was your friend and told you that your son was dead. Yeah, I know, but I, I've, you know, doubted every word that's come out of this woman's mouth. I didn't just accept her story blindly. I know, you should trust your instincts. All I'm saying is that... On some level, maybe Suzanne is still angry with what happened with her son. Yeah, you know, of, co of course. She's even if you did it in self-defense. I know, of course she's angry about that, of course, but why in the world would she do this? I mean, this is her grandchild, and I didn't even know about him, so she could have just taken off with him. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, you know, I think it's that this woman really loves her grandchild, you know, and she wants him to be with his real mother. What does Sonny think? Well, Sonny wants to check her story out and make sure that Lucian is mine. Well, then you can do that. That's easy. Get a simple DNA test and put Sonny's mind at ease. Yeah, Lucian's my son. And I just know it, you know? In my heart, in my gut. I mean, I need a DNA test to prove to me. Uh, but I'm maybe, certain. I'm just so certain. Maybe you need to prove it to Sonny. I know, but that makes me feel like he doesn't trust my gut instincts. I don't think it has anything to do with that. He loves you and he wants to protect you. Just in case Suzanne is lying about this Why would this she thing. lie about this at this point? That doesn't even make any sense. I don't know, but just show Sonny that you are willing to address his fears. You know, meet him halfway. It's a simple blood test. You're right. I mean, I guess if it's gonna make him feel better, I should just do it, right? You should just do it. It's no big deal. I can set it up the lab for But you. what if after the blood test and, and, and then we know for sure that Lucian's my son, he still continues to act kind of distant with him? Brenda, it's not going to happen. <laughs> you are the love of his life. I am. You're his wife now. <laughs> Hi, Christina. Hey. Um, I, I really hope that me and Patrick are not pressuring you, but, but we really need to know if you're able to babysit Emma for the month of May. Have you made a decision? Thanks. Just the man I wanted to see. Hey. Here is your celebration coffee. Wow, celebration coffee. What's the occasion? I just ran into Christina at Kelly's, and she is able to fill in for Stephanie nice. for the month of May. Good work. Mm -hmm. And we'll be so excited. She loves Christina. Awesome. Somebody we can trust. When can she start? Well, that's the best part. Christina said she can start tonight. 